before the Super Bowl, apparently there's this new tradition where the president goes and gets an interview with somebody from that network, whoever's carrying the Super Bowl. It's a made-up tradition. It didn't really exist before, but whatever. So Obama decides, well, it's on Fox, so I'll give an interview to one of the Fox News guys. This will be his 28th interview in a row with a Fox News person, and he interviews with a progressive about maybe once a year. Maybe. So now I don't, like, people say, oh, better man, and, uh, you know, you're just saying he should interview with you guys, whatever. No, 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 look, dude, it's not about that. It's about, it's the constant Obama strategy of if I hug them hard enough, maybe they'll like me. Here's the number of uh, Bill O'Reilly viewers that are going to vote for Obama. You know what? He's got 3 million viewers, so let me be generous. 17 of them will, will vote for Obama. Everyone else will vote against them. Okay? So I don't think he's changing much minds. Now, mind you, the interview was on Fox, not on Fox News, so that's a little bit of a different audience, and it was a big audience. So I get why he did it. At the same time, he's got to stop rewarding their bad behavior, if you ask. But now... The, the interview did happen, so let's share the relevant parts with you guys. Clip number one. Here's what the Wall Street Journal said. I want you to react to this quote. Mr. Obama is a determined man of the left whose goal is to redistribute much larger levels of income across society. He may give tactical ground when he has to, as he did on taxes to avoid a middle class tax increase, but he will resist to his last day any major changes to Obamacare and the other load-bearing walls of the entitlement state. This is the Wall Street <laughs> Journal. Uh, you know, painting you as a pretty left-wing guy. You're, yeah. you're going to well, draw the line. The Wall Street Journal will probably paint you as a left-wing guy. No, no. If you're talking about the Wall Street Journal editorial Editor, page, that's, that's what this is. You know, the, uh, you know that's like uh, quoting the, the New York Times editorial. Do you deny page. their assessment? Do you deny oh, that you're a man who wants to redistribute wealth? Absolutely. You deny that? Absolutely. Bill, I didn't raise taxes once. I lowered taxes over the last two years. But the I lowered, tax, I lowered taxes for the last two years. But the, and, the, the and entitlements that you champion do, do redistribute wealth in the sense that they provide insurance coverage for 40 million people who don't is, have it. What is absolutely true is I think in this country there's no reason why if you get sick you should go bankrupt. Now, that, yeah, the notion that that's a radical principle, I don't think the majority of people uh, would agree with you on. Then why do the majority of people in the polls not support Obamacare? Actually, I think it's pretty evenly... It's close. It's, 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 the majority it's, it's, it's evenly divided, Bill. You know, look at that. O Obama is trying to defend himself by telling the Wall Street Journal, owned by Rupert Murdoch, the Bill O'Reilly program on Fox News, owned by Rupert Murdoch. No, 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 I, re I lowered your taxes, I lowered your taxes. And was it good enough? Of course not. There's O'Reilly quoting the Wall Street Journal saying, no, nah, it doesn't count. You have to give us everything. If you don't give us everything, we're still going to say you redistribute wealth, obviously making an allusion to socialism, et cetera, et cetera. And Obama's still on there trying to convince them that he did the right thing. Mr. President, you're never going to convince them. All right, clip number three. But the pundits now say you're moving to the center uh -huh. to raise your approval. Uh, is that true? You're moving, moving to the center? No. Because no? we were set up over there, and then they moved you a little to the center. <laughs> <laughs> here, here, here's, here's what I think is true. Over the first uh, two years of my presidency, we had a complete disaster, right? We had a complete crisis. The financial markets were breaking down. Uh, we were slipping into a great depression. And we had to take a bunch of extraordinary steps in order to make sure that the economy was growing again, which it is now growing, making sure that the private sector was creating jobs again, it's now doing that. And now our focus is not on refighting the battles of the last two years. So you're not the moving to the, the center? The, 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 I've, I, haven't, I, I didn't move to uh, where you, people you, thought you I was. You haven't moved anywhere. That, you're the same guy. Well, I'm the same guy, and my practical focus, my common sense focus right now is how do we out-innovate, out-educate, out-build, out-compete, the rest of the world. How do we create jobs here in the United States of America? Look, Obama handled the interview really well. That was a solid answer. They were all solid answers. Uh, the interview itself was fine by O'Reilly. Uh, my objection is to not go on Fox News until they admit they're conservative. If they admit they're conservative, great. They should have that interview all the time, right? Uh, when they pretend to be straight news, that's the real problem. But when you get to the answer that Obama just gave, although it, it, it sounded great, I, in my opinion, it's not remotely true. Right after the election, he went and told business, what can I do for you? He went to the big banks, to the Chamber of Commerce, et cetera, et cetera, and said, what can I do for you? He immediately did a federal pay freeze uh, for federal employees. 
He said we're, we're going to cut, uh, freeze all domestic spending for five years. He said he's going to cut regulations. He's going to cut corporate tax rates. How is that staying where you were? That's not staying where you were. Look, I bring you facts. Those are the facts. You don't like them? That's, you know, up to you. But Obama did not stay where he was. He definitely, he, and he didn't move to the center. He moved to the way right, right after the elections. It was, you know, one of the two options that he had. The other one was sticking to his principles. And I think he went in the wrong direction. Uh, so when he says, oh, what are you talking about? I'm the same guy I always was. I think it's totally disingenuous. You know, not a lot of people know this about me, but aside from co-hosting the show with Jenk once in a while, I also book the guests, and I happen to book excellent guests. For instance, I booked Michael Moore, and Alan Grayson, Jimmy Carter, Alan Greenspan, and I always try to book conservatives so Jenk can have a little fun.